<sighs> Hello. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Let's see. We should probably, we are likely in the group now. All right. Hello, hello. Anyone out there? Mic check one, two, one, two. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hopefully, as soon as I see, you know, a few folks kind of popping up, we'll go ahead and get started. I know this is a bit of a surprise to everyone that we are here live in the group tonight, but I definitely wanted to do that. So, all right. There we go. Hello, everyone. Let's see. Got to do the twofold. Because I don't see people. If you're there, if you're out there, say hello. So I know that you are there, and then I'll go ahead and kind of get started. Hello, there we go. People are out there. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. I see you guys. Hi, Miss Garcia. All right. Hey, perfect. I know we gave you a little bit of no warning and just kind of jumping in here and saying hi and that we were going live, right? So surprise, this is our um, check-in. We're going to do a little bit of our October check-in. So I definitely see you guys. So yes, happy October already, you know, already. So perfect. Hey, Miss Turner. So we're going to get started. And so what I wanted to kind of do was absolutely check in with you guys and let you know, because I know that some of you are maybe taking the test again. Um, some of you are about to graduate and literally because there's an October group that comes out. And then some of you, this is that last great final semester um, and you guys will be coming out in December. So congratulations, congratulations. Um, hey, Manuela, I see you. So definitely wanted to kind of pop in and do that. So first and foremost, welcome. Happy October. Congratulations to you if you've made it this far. But one of the things that I kind of wanted to check in with everyone on is what you're noticing in the group. You are seeing a lot of second time, you know, third, fourth, fifth time test takers and passing, and they are now passing. And I know you guys are seeing that. And it's super exciting. We're all rooting them on. Everyone has a story. And, um, we just kind of wanted to kind of jump in and acknowledge that we're super proud of you guys and we are definitely seeing that and um also you will probably recognize we are going to talk to one of those students um so we are going to talk to beatrice today so that's um in a minute she will come on and she will join us because one of the things I know, it's kind of like being a mom, right? So it's like, it's like being a mom. You guys, we tell you, you, you guys know that I absolutely believe in you. And I believe that you can pass these exams. And I believe that you're going to find these jobs. And do I have advice on how to do that? Absolutely. But sometimes it helps when you don't hear it from your parents. I mean, that's just the reality of the situation. Sometimes it helps when you hear someone else's story. Things may resonate with you, especially those of you who are about to take your exam. Things that she says um, may resonate with you. So take what you need and then throw out the rest. Okay, that's always, that's always the advice. Take what you need and then throw out the rest. But she has a wonderful story. You may recognize her from posting in the group. And this is also to tell you, you never know if we are going to reach out to you and ask you, 
hey, you want to talk to us? Do you want to talk this to the students? We've never really done that before. You guys see each other in the group and you support each other in the group, but we thought it'd be fun to kind of start highlighting you guys. So be careful, you might get an email. Someone might reach out to you. But today, again, we are going to talk to Beatrice and um, let's go ahead and bring her on so we can have a little chat with her. Hi. So, to, okay. So this is Beatrice, guys. So you might have recognized her post. And but what she's going to do is she's going to share a little bit of a story. And we're just going to have a conversation. And you guys are basically going to be in on it. Okay. Um, so with that being said, Beatrice, tell us a little bit, just kind of your nursing journey, um, where you started, where you're working, all of those kind of things. Yes. Hello, everybody. I'm Beatrice and my nursing journey, I've been a nurse for over six years. Um, I started out on a med surge ortho floor. I remember nursing school, the teacher was really pushing for us to start off med surge. And yeah. I'm so glad I did that. I got my background, that you know, my foundation as a nurse. Um, and so I started there, gained some experience doing same day surgery, did a little bit of nurse infusion. And now I'm currently at the VA on a spinal cord injury and disorder unit. Um, and I've been there, it's coming up four years, I've been there um, and, you know, just ready to, ready to move on from, from being on the floor. I know, okay. That's, already <laughs> they are ready. But it's so funny that you mentioned um, pushing that med surge because that is that is what they do in school, mm -hmm. don't they? They push that med surge. So even before we get to the MP journey, kind of were you hesitant to even go to the med surge? Because you know you have some peers who are just like, I'm not, I'm not doing it. Um, no, not really. I just took that as, you know, okay. I took that as really good advice, you know, because she was a wonderful teacher mm -hmm. and, you know, I just wanted to take in everything that I could just to be successful as a RN. So I said, okay, I actually started out as a PCT, which is a patient care tech. And I was um, on the float pool. So I was able to float to different units. I wanted to see how different units operated just to kind of get a feel of things. And I just really, really resonated with the RNs on the med surge ortho floor. And I, that is not always the case and you know it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. That's yeah. wonderful. So we got our experience. So now yeah. <laughs> we got our experience and we have been on the floor. What made you finally just kind of check that box and say, I think it's time to go to MP school? So when I was in RN school, the very first semester, there was a class where we had an assignment where we had to write a paper and explore um, nursing careers beyond RN. So I looked at nurse anesthetist, I looked at nurse practitioner, I looked, I looked mainly at those um, and at, at those two things. And I just knew right then and there that I wanted to be a nurse practitioner. Um, so it's just always been a long-term goal of mine. I wanted to get my experience in. And then when the time was right, you know, it's like, okay, well, let me go back and start school, start MP school. And um, I, I've been in MP school. I was in MP school um, 2018. And then I graduated May of 2020 this year. So. Okay, fantastic. So you were right there in this COVID situation. Uh, yes. So you were hitting your last semester. So with that being said, we've got a lot of students in here and you, you've definitely got some of your fellow um, passers here because I see like Blessy and all, all of those. I see you guys. Um, <laughs> And they too have just passed. And you guys have really done, I mean, to be honest, it's been tough. And I, I see it. Um, there's no easy way to put it. I see people looking for the preceptors and to be in your last semester and then everything shutting down. Kind of tell me what that was like and kind of how you kind of push through that. Ooh, so yes, um, I was actually um, in my specialty clinic. That was my very last clinical site. And I think I only got like a few days in with the preceptor when, you know, COVID-19 happened. And so 
a lot of things had to be, you know, changed. Um, and actually the professors, um, they, they made some changes as far as how many clinical hours we had to have. So as long as we had over 500, um, we were fine. So thank God that I was over that because um, it was supposed to be 560. Mm-hmm. And so um, by the grace of God, I was able to, you know, I fulfilled those requirements and um, and I was able to, to complete that part, my clinical portion. There were some students who um, still needed some hours. I'm, to be honest, I'm not sure what was worked out with those students, but um, I believe that they were able to work with them some way with making sure that they that they received the, um, the clinical hours that they needed to complete the program. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it's again, it's been rough and I definitely see folks um, looking and begging. So don't worry. I'm also trying to think how we can help these students because you guys know I'm of service. So I need to figure out how to serve you guys in that situation. Um, But it's very difficult. So I'm glad you did that. So now on to passing boards because you have graduated. You have done all of the hard things and it's time to take your boards. So let's talk about studying for your boards and that timeline. How long did you decide? Um, How did you choose your materials and that kind of thing? So um, my last semester was a very busy one um, because I'm currently in the DMP program. So that semester where I was finishing, I was actually taking MSN classes and DMP classes at the same time. So it was really stressful. Um, And so I would say it was about um, May. May was the, um, it was supposed to be the commencement date. And so around that time, I started to um, study um, and I felt like, okay, setting a date, a test date, what real, was really helpful, what really helped me at that time. And so I had set it for June 25th and I just took all that time. I studied, um, I actually used Hollier and Leak. So Hollier, we are, my school already had, I guess, like a contract with them. Yeah. And so we did um, like our, we used them for our predictor exams and things like that. So I just kind of stuck with them. I used their QBank. Um, I even attended their live review and then, which was pretty extensive. And yeah. then um, I stuck with Leek as well. I purchased her book and, you know, was just going through the material system by system, um, using um, her practice questions um, via the app that she has. Mm-hmm. And so I was doing a lot of those things. And really it was um, nurse practitioners who I, who I knew who um, was referring, you know, these study materials for me to use. And so, of course, you know, I'm like, OK, well, let me look into this. And, you know, and I did and I thought it was really helpful. And then when at the very end, like very really close to my test date, I called my professor and I'm like, OK, I'm about to test. And, you know, just wanted to check in with her and let her know what was going on. And she says, you need to do Walden review. And I said, OK, OK. I said, Walden, I was like, OK, no one. No, I'm yes, I was like, okay, Walden. Okay, so I just I googled googled Walden review, and it popped up, and she she said, this is your icing, your cherry on top. This is going to help you with your exam. So, to be honest, I wish I would have like had more time to study with Walden because I actually only had maybe a few days, and so I was like cramming things in. Oh, yeah. Wow. I was cramming things in. <laughs> you guys make me nervous when you do that because you are not the first person to tell me that. I have had folks listen to lives on the way to take their exam because they have to drive three and four hours. And I'm like, I feel like I have to do a good performance. Because- <laughs> I mean, when I say I crammed it in, I was 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. trying to cram everything oh in. Oh, my gosh. I, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I hear that a lot. And this is this is also, I mean, you make a really good point. This is also why I say you have to have a really good base and background yes. um, for studying for this exam because it is different. And I'm sure you see that now. Yes. It is completely <laughs> different. Is it not completely different than how we were taught in school and how we were tested in school? Yes. 
I mean, it's just, you know, whereas our schools drilled durations and, you know, how much and um, just really specific things, whereas this exam is just not that way. <laughs> See, and <laughs> you're like, not at all. No. <laughs> it's just not that way. And it is very, it feels very surface level. And I, you know, I say that a lot. And I, and I know sometimes, especially students, who are new coming to me, they don't believe me. And I'm like, just trust me, just trust me. But um, it's very different. It's very different. And you crammed it all in. <laughs> I crammed it all in and I'm like, okay, I gotta, I gotta like get through this stuff. And I was like falling asleep at times, I'm tired. I mean, I was overwhelmed. I was I'm like, sure oh, you God. Are. I mean, depending on what you got, there's a lot of material, just period. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's hilarious well thank you to your preceptor whoever that was um but it is i mean this is kind of why we transitioned from just doing that short um the clinical crash course that everyone talks about to kind of moving towards the powerpoint because that's the entire system right. so i do have a question how did you create your study plan? This is also a question that we get asked a lot. And I figured, well, let's talk about that. So to be honest, um, the first time that I tested, I really didn't have a study plan like I, like I felt like I should have. Um, and so knowing that, I, I said, okay, this time I got to change something up because you know, I like the structure. Of course, I like to be organized because I, you know, really, I wanted to make sure I was confident yes. and, co and of course, competent in the, in the specific, like the body systems and testing myself, you know, to make sure that I understood it, make sure that I got the content. And so the first time I was just kind of like, just going with things and I'm like, okay, let me just do this. Um, and I, well, I based it off of the predictor exam. Uh -huh. Sorry, let me say that. I based it off the predictor exam. So however, um, wherever I was the weakest, that's where I focused. So uh -huh. then I would focus in that area. And I focused a little bit more heavily on the areas that were the weakest. Uh -huh. um, and so that's kind of how I did it. And then um, the second go around, then it was a little bit different. I just, I didn't focused on necessarily like the weakest areas. I just focused on, I just went through each body system and said, okay, let me go back and let me just go back through the the content and just make sure that I, that I have it. You plan, you know how some folks will plan out, okay, this week I'm going to do this. And this week I am going to go over this. So that first time, is that how you did it? Uh, or I guess not because you said, I looked at my weakest points off of the predictor. Yeah, it's different. Okay, so let's, I mean, you you brought it up. So let's do it. Let's talk about these predictors. What are your thoughts on these predictors? Oh my gosh. So it was so stressful because of course you want to do right. You know, you want to do well. Of course you want to score, you know, high. Um, and so to be honest, my predictor score, it was, it was at the yellow, the one that was at risk. It was like really close. Yeah. And so I'm like, oh, man, you know, even when I felt like I had and I and I took the predictor, I wasn't scoring like in the green range. Right. So then um, I just got to the point. I said, you know what? I'm not going to worry about this predictor. Um, and the second go around, I didn't even I didn't take a predictor because I didn't want that to define, you know, me knowing the content and the material. I didn't yeah. want that to you know, make me second guess or doubt myself. So I didn't even, I didn't do a predictor the second time. So, I, I mean, so let's talk about this because I get asked this so much. Mm -hmm. I, we get emailed this so much. Mm -hmm. These predictors are designed to be difficult. They are designed to be so hard. They are unlike anything that you see on the board. Am I, am I telling the truth? That is so true. It is true. Yeah, it, I mean, it, yeah. they are designed to be difficult. One thought process is that if I take this difficult exam, then by the time I get to boards, I'll feel like this is easy. 
So, I mean, that's literally the thought process is like, if I take these hard questions and I still understand it and learn the rationales and all of that good stuff, then because there's still knowledge there, there's still stuff to learn. Absolutely. But then when I go and I take boards, I'm going to feel like that is easy. However, because they are so vastly different as students, what we naturally do is when we are taking, when we are trying to um, take questions, you know, practice questions, we get in our mind that this is how the question is going to look on the board exam, because why else would they write something that was completely different? Right, right. And so you go in thinking it's going to be like the predictor and it's absolutely nothing like that. And it blows your mind. I mean, it, it, you know, it really kind of all the anxiety, all of the things start to show up when you sit down for those first few questions. Right. And it's true. And that actually happened to me the first time um, that I took the exam. My anxiety really got the best of me. Mm -hmm. I would, I, I mean, I tried to calm myself down and you know, and after after a few questions, I was able to, you know, be a little bit feel more relaxed. Um, and then at the end, you know, my heart's beating again because I'm about to hit submit. Right, right. And, you know, there goes anxiety again. But yes, I mean, yeah, my, yeah. The anxi my anxiety got the best of me. So, I know, you know, it sounds crazy, but, um, you know, most of most of you all out there watching. Hey, Shamika, I saw you. Congratulations, you passed. But most of you out there watching know that I do talk about anxiety and I kind of talk about how to manage it. And you hear it in little bits and pieces as you listen. But I, there's, there's, there's a reason because we have put this test on a pedestal. Um, we have gone through two and three years of school and basically everything is resting on this. And so naturally our anxiety is raised. And then you throw on top that we're looking for a job afterwards because most of us have school loans. Uh, I do too, okay? Um, and then you throw on top, hello pandemic, welcome, join us in 2020. So you, you do all of that. I mean, our anxiety is just out of control. So that first time you took the exam, you did all the things. <laughs> you did all the things and then it didn't quite work out the way you wanted it to. Oh my gosh. And I was devastated. Yeah. I was so devastated. I cried. I cried because I'm like, oh my gosh, I've, you know, put all my, my effort, like all my time. I told you I was up 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. And so I'm like, oh my gosh. I mean, I think that once things like really settled down, like it just hit me. Like I was drained. I was so exhausted. Uh -huh. And I remember I reached out to you. I said, oh my gosh, I'm so devastated. And I will not forget what you told me. You said, take this day to sulk, but tomorrow you get back up. And I was like, you know, thinking like, okay, you know, <laughs> and I did, I did just that. I took that day and I, I, I sulked, I cried. Mm -hmm. And then I just pulled myself back up the next day. Um, and I just, you know, I was like, okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this aside right now because now I need to focus on school because, again, you know, I'm still in school for my right. DMP. So right. it's like, OK, I need to focus on this. I've kind of neglected my schoolwork a little bit. <laughs> so let me kind of, you know, refocus. And that's what I did. And I said, I'm going to allow myself a little break. And um, and I reached out to the team and, you know, to just see how you guys could help you know, um, moving forward and, and getting me to retest, you know, just, just trying to regroup there. And Kate was amazing. She was very supportive, very helpful. And she's like, you know, this stuff, you know, you just have to, you know, you're going to, you have to test again. So, yeah, so, I mean, here's the thing you guys don't go through. I mean, there, there, for us, we have a methodical way at which we look at things and we can tell if, it is just a misunderstanding or if it is, okay, we got to start over and start at the drawing board. Um, you know, and we're not ashamed to tell you that because at the end of the day, we want you to pass at the end of the day, it hurts me It nothing. I mean, for me to have another MP in the fold, seeing patients, whether or not you are sitting next to me or you are in Virginia, I mean, at the end of the day, if I can, possibly pick up the phone and call and say, I've got this case. 
you got any ideas? Because that's all we're doing. We are really just trying to kind of build our network. Also, we model the behavior we want to see, right? So RNs is, it's, I mean, being nurses is pretty cutthroat. Let's just be honest. It can be a little bit cutthroat, but we can change that. And so that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. But you take the 24 hours, you get it all out your system. I Yes, I get it. It is not a good space to be in. It is not a thing that you want to do. But at the end of the day, we got to rip that Band-Aid off. Right. Absolutely. <laughs> and we got to get back to work because we got patients to see. Absolutely. And, and, and with you mentioning um, that, I actually, thinking back like that day, I was like, oh, my gosh. There, my nerves got the best of me so yeah. much that I, I answered it. the questions that I knew incorrectly. I believe it. Yeah, and I'm like, oh my gosh, Beatrice, like you knew this. I mean, it was like a simple question, like, like simple questions. You go back and you think, and you're like, now I know. I studied this so hard. I know. So let's we're moving into the second part. So now you refocus. So what'd you do differently? Because that sometimes has to happen. Sometimes the second go around, we have to do things differently. Right, right, absolutely. So um, when I received my score report, um, I went back because Hollier, they have the live review guarantee. So I redid that so that I can get my CEUs so I can reapply for AMP. Something told me, hey, why don't you apply for ANCC? I said, okay, let me do that. Um, and I believe in Leek's book, I want to say she encourages you to apply for both. Yes. And I didn't even think of that. I was just so focused on AAMP because I'm like, okay, this is clinical based. I don't really want to focus on the other, you know, questions and stuff like that. So that was my mindset. Yes. But when yes. I read that part, I'm like, okay, I could take ANCC. So I applied to ANCC um, and to be honest, I focus more using your content than the other content, to be honest. Um, I had purchased the, it was the ANCC bundle um, because of course that content is different. You know, you get a little bit more, you get the non-clinical right, um, content. Right. So I studied focusing with that. Um, another student, she also had um, an account with Exam Edge and she still had some leftover um, tests and so she's like, you can use mine. And that was very helpful. Um, I just kind of use that towards the end, you know, like just to kind of get in the in the mindset of, OK, you have to answer this many questions. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to make sure that, I, you know, like if I was actually sitting for the board, I wanted to make sure that I was answering the questions. I also purchased um, Walden's questions as well. Um, because I didn't do that the first time either. So they yeah, they, they are hard. Oh my gosh. I was like, what in the world? You know, it was hard. But I was like, oh my gosh, you know, and I and I didn't focus on the score because you said that, don't that, focus on that. I didn't focus that, on that. that, that is the thing. So, so I like that you practice all the questions. Yes. You know, that is important, especially if you don't feel comfortable. Right. With what the patient will look like when they come into your clinic, because that is how the test is, right? That's right. how the boards is. Right. What does this mean for me and my patient when I come into the clinic? And sometimes for some of us, that's difficult to interpret just by reading and studying. Right. So Absolutely. We need to practice the questions mm -hmm. wherever that be. Right. So mine, like I said, they are definitely hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you, from the beginning, mm -hmm. we're not focusing on scores here. There's a reason I don't have the scores and all of that because predictors, right? I, <laughs> we already had that conversation. Right. So that I mean, the, but the rationales, whether it is exam edge or whether it's mine, the rationales are where you learn all of your information. Absolutely. Yes. And, and then I also attended your live review too which is, an, I didn't do that before. And it was just so helpful. And I just kept listening to the, the crash course, you know, the video. I, I mean, I was listening to it before <laughs> the kids were starting school. 
And my daughter, she had to get a new laptop because it wasn't working. I'm standing in the line, listening. I got my earphones in. And I'm like, I know these people are probably looking at me like, oh, my gosh, this lady's crazy. Because I was like, as you're talking, I'm like, is this, you know, because, you know, you know, you right. pop it up. And I'm like, is this, is this? <laughs> That's hilarious. I've had, I've had, I've had students who say, like, their kids know me. And I'm like, oh, Lord. Like, <laughs> we'll see them later, too. It's fine. You know? yes. But that's it. But you went all in. Like you did things I did. different. And you focused really completely different. And like you said, you focused on everything this time. I did. Yes. You started from the beginning and you said, All right, we're gonna start from the beginning and we're gonna go system by system. Yes. And I know some people, I've I've seen people say, you know, oh my gosh, you know, this the the information is overwhelming. I thought so too. Yeah. But it may seem overwhelming, but trust me. Like when you you just, you know, think of things, little quirky things to help you memorize things. That's what I did, too. Mm -hmm. um, I was like making up little songs and saying things to help me. Like when even if it's overwhelming, like you're, you're going to get it, like you're it. You right. and, and like, you're you know, know, going to get it. It is overwhelming. It is a lot of information. It's not supposed to be easy. Everyone is not supposed to be able to do this. We're taking care of people. <laughs> <laughs> whole entire humans right so it, it is difficult um but like you said at some point the lights will come on and everything yeah. will click Absolutely. and when you get into clinic and you have patients standing in front of you you're going to remember all of these things i know it feels scary um because i get a lot right now we're having lots of conversations with folks looking for their first job and it's been a little bit of time it feels scary. Yes, absolutely. I I mean, my armpits sweat a little bit every time a new patient comes in and they start talking and it doesn't immediately come to me. Right. However, you let them talk long enough and you ask the right questions, it will come to you. Okay, so you did all the things. So now you have studied. How long did you study this time? Ooh, so this time it was a little bit more. Um, and, I, you know, at first, I'm like, okay, where do I go from here, you know? Um, but I, I was able to get it together. Um, and I would say, let me see, probably I picked back up July, like July and then August, and then I retested. So I scheduled ANCC first okay. on the 8th, and then I, I scheduled AANP on the 10th. I, want, I did that on purpose. I wanted it to be close together. But of course, I wanted a day in between. So Right. I, I kind of wanted AMP first, but it didn't work out that way, so it was fine. And um, and so yeah, so July. So I had a little. I had more time the second time than mm -hmm. I did the first that time. That was from basically what, like about six weeks in between. Mm -hmm. Just about. And I gave my break. Yeah, I gave myself yeah, a break. Just about. So about six weeks. And also, you did mention that you gave yourself a break. So I also I wanted to, to to talk about that. Just kind of touch on that for a second. It's really important because I did just tell a student the other day, she said, I am so tired of studying and I am so overwhelmed. It's okay to take a break. Mm -hmm. You are not going to magically forget all of this information <laughs> that you've been studying for months if you don't read anything in a day or two or three or five. It's very you know, true. You need to go on vacation and take a little break do so, you will actually retain more information. You know, that I mean, it, I mean, that's just the reality of the situation. And plus just self-care. I truly, truly believe in self-care and being kind to yourself. We are caregivers. So inherently we do a lot of things that other people won't and we feel a lot of things other people won't. So you have to, you have to do those things. So you go in, you take it, how you feeling? You're ready. Oh my gosh, I was so sick of studying. I and that was the other the other thing, the big difference. Yeah. Like the first time I didn't I I I felt confident, but this time I was like, oh my gosh, I know this stuff. Like I just want to take this test. I'm ready to get it over with. I was considering moving it up. That um, but I, well. Yes. I was like, oh my gosh, I just got to take this test to get it over with. So, so I, um, I went in and I also, I said, 
as soon as they give me this paper, I'm dumping everything I know on this scrap piece of paper. That was another thing I didn't do the first time. I didn't write anything down. And so I got nervous as I'm answering the questions. And I'm like, shoot, I should have wrote, you know, what I what I knew on this scrap piece of paper. So I was like, I remember Professor Walden said, I don't care what you write on this paper. You can write your name. You can put your kid's name. It doesn't matter what you put on there. So what I did was I put, because I was speaking it into existence. I was going to be MP in five minutes. I wrote my first and last name and the credentials that I would get coming out of that exam. And I wrote MP in five minutes. They play, I mean, you guys don't want to jinx yourself when, you know, because everyone is superstitious. So you don't want to jinx yourself, but sometimes you have to own it. Yeah. You just do. You have to own it. And if you're going in there, like you said, that's when you know you're ready to take the exam. When you are sick and tired and you are like, listen, I am just listening to things just to be listening to them. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm like, I'm done. I'm just yes. ready. <laughs> when you are ready to set things on fire and just be done, <laughs> that is when it is time. When you, when you, the thought process of even thinking about moving up the test date comes into your mind, that is when you are ready to take care yes. Oh my gosh, I was so ready. So I, I went there and I wasn't nervous this time. Oh, I, I wasn't it. nervous. I yeah, it. I wasn't nervous. I just felt confident. I'm like, B, you got this. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, when I went there, I dumped all the information. And, you know, it's very surprising, too, because a lot of people, you know, they one of my classmates took ANCC and she was like, oh, my gosh, that was the most horrible test I've ever taken. And she said, so I was like scared. I was like, oh, my gosh, what am I? Should I not take ANCC? Oh, my God. You know, like, did I make a mistake? <laughs> But, you know, when I took that test, I was like, is it this really, is this really my test? Because it was not as bad as I thought. It felt easy. It was, yes. I was like, oh. I mean, straightforward questions. I was like, this is a joke. I was like, <laughs> you know, but I was just like, you know, like, am I being pranked or something? Like, are, is this really my well, test? I'm going to be like, can you? Can you check this? <laughs> yeah, because it was just, it was nothing like people had told me. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, that was my experience. I went in and I just, you know, I dumped all that information. I took my time. That was another thing. So when I was done, I had over an hour and um, some minutes left. And um, I did mark some questions. I went back mm -hmm. and... Um, I'm not gonna lie, like there, I, I have a problem with changing my answers. So I was like, keeping in my house, like don't change any answers. So I started to change the answers and I was like, wait a minute, no, put, change it back. And I was like, let me just leave it, just leave it. Um, um, and there was a question that I reread and I was like, oh my gosh, I was about to answer it wrong. And I knew for sure I was answering it wrong. So I changed it. But other than that, all the other questions, I left them alone. Right. I took that whole entire hour that I had because I wanted to make sure. <laughs> I took that whole hour. It got to the point where the end of the test, it just says you you've taken the allotted amount of time. So all I could do was click next. <laughs> I was like, okay, well this is it. You know, I'm gonna click next. <laughs> test and had over an hour, and we're just like, I'm gonna use this time. I, yes, I used it because you know why? Why not? You know, you had that time, so use use it. So. And let's talk about these good test taking skills. Again, something I know it's some of the stuff I get it. It sounds hokey pokey when I talk about it. But I mean, these are I have been around students for 20 years. I have been a lifetime student myself. If there's anything that I can do is I can tell you how to take an exam. I mean, that's just the re I, I make them up myself. And I, I take them. I know exactly what a teacher is honing in on when they are lecturing. When I hear them, it, it is a gift. OK, but one of those things that you did not do, which I'm very proud of you, is you did not change your answers. You guys do not go in there, even if you have the allotted time like Beatrice did. And you <laughs> want to go back and you want to look at him. That's great. I love it. Check yourself. Right. You better not be changing those answers just because you at that point you start to second guess yourself. And so you don't want to do that. So unless you are so sure that you are changing it to the right answer, leave it alone. Yes. And another thing that I did like about ANCC, I love the pictures. 
-hmm. because they weren't it was difficult, difficult. were they? No, it, mm -mm. it was not difficult. I'm like, thank God I have a picture because I know what this is. And it's just like, what is this? And I'm like, really? <laughs> I hear it all is. the time because they're like, we're going to, well, first of all, you don't get a lot of, it's not a lot of anything. Right. Um, you know, so it's not a lot of pictures. It's not a lot of the select two and three. It, it feels like it because you're taking it, but it's anxiety, right? It's not really a lot. So when they do give you the pictures, I, she's verified it, y'all. It is easy stuff. Stuff you should know exactly what it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I would not be worried about the pictures. If you've got pictures of derm stuff, and pictures of eye stuff, you right. should be fine. Yep. And that's exactly the pictures that I had. It was derm and eye stuff. That was it. And it was, I mean, it and was just so obvious. Crazy. They don't make it difficult. Oh, like, no, it was very obvious. Like those grainy pictures we had no. in school where you're like, is is this what that is? It's not like that. It's no, just straight, it's straightforward. What and is like all that applies? I hate them, but I'm <laughs> but I'm all I'm so good at them. I don't know how, but <laughs> but like they tell you, it says which two interventions. I, I, it tells you. So you're, you're not like, and it doesn't even let you, you can't even select more than two. It's telling you two or what three diagnoses would you, you know, it tells you. So it, it tells, tells you. So if it tells, tells you to select two, yep. Select two. Right. <laughs> it, it tells you to select three. Like three. Oh, three and then move on. I mean, it right. literally gives it to you. It does give it so, to you. You're testing. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm about to do this. Mm -hmm. So you get to the end and you click the next. So then tell us how you're feeling <laughs> and what's happening, what you see. So as I click next, I'm like, okay, I'm just sitting there because I'm like, what, you know, what am, what's going to happen? So then it pops up on the screen pass and I was like oh, I was like, oh my gosh as I was testing though I knew it I felt yeah. it in my spirit I'm like I got this like I ser seriously yeah. I just I knew and it's not to be you know um you know any kind of way it was just that I just that's just how I felt you yeah, know I felt very that is there. you had done everything yes. you were supposed to do and, and then you had got to that point where you just knew the material. Yes. And so when it said pass, I was like, okay. So, you know, of course they have the restrictions and things like that. There were other people in their testing. So I had to wait for one student to go through the door and wait for the lady to tell me I could come through the door. So I go through the door and I'm like, do I get a printout of my results? <laughs> I wanted to make sure. She's like, I'm sorry, ma'am, but ANCC doesn't allow a printout or something, which I thought was was weird. Yeah, so they had just changed it like a year or two ago. Oh, okay. So then I was like, okay. She's like, you you should get an email within like a couple of days. So I'm like, a couple of days? Oh my gosh. So then I get out to my car and my phone and everything was in the car and um i checked my email and it was right there yeah like it was instant so i clicked on it and then i see this big old green like pass and i was like oh, oh my gosh it's true oh my gosh i started crying because i was like tears of joy i was like oh, oh my yeah. god it's, it's relief that it's, it's a it. big relief oh it's my gosh no, yes. I completely understand. I mean, what the funny story is, I have a similar story. When I took ANCC, the pass popped up and it was right as, you know, the pass popped up and I'm sitting there. I literally was like, was that for me? <laughs> I, did, I did. I had already taken AAMP, so I already knew, you know, <laughs> I was a nurse practitioner, but I kid you not. I said, I mean, because it's quick. It's very it's quick. So quick. Yes. You, think, you miss it. Exactly. <laughs> and so it's a pass. And I looked, I was like, was that, was that for, was that for right. me? Right. And I asked the lady, like, I'm sorry, do we get paper? So we investigated. She looking, I'm looking. We didn't, same thing. It was in the email. But I mean, you really, if you blink, you'll miss right. it. Right. Right. I need a confirmation. You <laughs> so super funny. So now you've, I mean, You've passed and all of the tears are flowing and we yes. are excited. And then randomly she gets this email that's like, hey, <laughs> do you want to talk to Professor Walton about it? I'm like, absolutely, sure. Absolutely. Again, 
I mean, congratulations, if I haven't said that already. So welcome, welcome to the fold. You know, I always love it. So, <laughs> um, but again, I mean, I hope, did you, well, that is the question. Did you end up taking AAMP? I did. So my mom, she's like, why are you going to take the same test? And I'm like, she, did, she didn't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She didn't understand. So, you know, I had that day in between. And so I said, I'm not studying because I just, yeah. I, I told you I was already at a point where I was tired of studying. I'm just like, I'm just gonna go in here. And in a, in, a, in a way, I also felt like I'm gonna redeem myself with AAMP. I love it. I love it. I, love it. <laughs> so I went in there and I, I sat at a completely different computer than the last time. And going into that exam, I felt confident. Um, it was different, same as ANCC. As soon as I got that paper, I wrote the same information down. And um, I it's went on to the true. test. True. Yes. And You're I ended up. Your name and that was real. Exactly. And so I just went through it and um, it would. I, so the questions that I knew I got wrong, I said, I hope I get these questions again because I'm going to get these one, these questions right. But I didn't. I didn't. But um, throughout the test, I, I felt confident again. It was the same feeling that I had with ANCC. I said, OK, I know I got this. And if I didn't, it was okay because yeah. I took an ANCC. So I, um, same thing. I had more time, a little bit more time with this one than the last one, and um, and I took that time, and I didn't let the clock run out because I had already went through everything. And so I was like, let me just let me just click submit. So I clicked <laughs> submit. But the thing, AAMP, it doesn't tell you. It doesn't pop up on the screen. It doesn't. It doesn't. So I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm like kind of dreading going back up to the front, you know, to talk to the guy to print my results out. So I get up there and he's taking his his sweet old time. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, like did I pass? Like this take the slowest time. They're like yeah. right with them. You're like, can you just give me the paper? Yeah. And so he prints it out. And the the last time I didn't get two sheets. I just got the one sheet. So this time it was two sheets and on the computer I didn't see it said pass. I was like, oh, Lord, I didn't pass this one. So he he prints it out. He hands it to me. It's two sheets. So I flipped it over and it said pass. And I was like, oh, I was like, you got to be kidding me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And I'm like, and I prayed about it. And I said, you know what? Me, Pat, I said, wouldn't that be something if I passed? But I would be a, a, a testimony to someone out there That's who it. didn't pass. And I have two kids. I have a 14-year-old and 12-year-old. So doing that, working full-time, school full-time, if I can do it, you guys can do it. Trust Absolutely. me. I, I mean, I love it. I think, I think it is the quintessential reason as to why I do what I do. Yes. Don't get me wrong. I love, I love all of you. I love my first-timers and all <laughs> of that. Um, but when you hear stories like this, and what people have to go through just in order to basically kind of put the cherry on top, you know, put the cherry on top of our careers. I mean, it makes you, me, it makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Um, I tell you the team gets, cause there, there is a team that helps. It is not just me by myself guys. Um, but the team gets excited, emails start flying, texts start flying. Because everyone is so invested in student, and especially if we've had contact with you, yeah. everyone gets very invested and we are looking in the group, seeing who passed or looking in our emails. So it was pretty exciting when we saw it. So we, we got very excited. Yes. And I, I emailed Kate and she was, I mean, just very supportive. I'm like, oh my, I mean, just made me cry because I'm like, it's good to know that you have you know, people in your corner who is supporting you, who's rooting for you. Yeah, for and sure. so you got, I mean, oh my gosh, you guys really mean a lot to me. And it is such an honor to be on this platform to talk to you and to meet you and to share my story. Like I just, it's, yes, it's an honor and a blessing. I really appreciate yeah, it. It is absolutely my honor. So with that being said, maybe one day if the world opens up, <laughs> <laughs> I will see you at a conference yes, and we can nice. get our hugs in and all of that. So that is all, that is always the plan. So fingers crossed for this upcoming year. 
Um, but I so, so appreciate you taking the time out and talking to us and, and letting everyone um, know your story because it's not easy to tell. Yeah. That's another thing. I mean, you could have not, you could have said no. And I know, so. I know, I know. And I was, uh, you know, to some people, and to be honest, I felt embarrassed. I was like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. But then I said, you know what, no. I said, you know, let me share my story because I could help someone else out there who, who may be in the same boat as I am. And, um, you know, I saw another student's post, I think his name was Stan. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I know how he felt. And I'm like, please don't give up, please. I mean, we, you know, that's yes, don't what we don't want is we don't want you to give up. And I and I and I get it. So and sometimes life gets in the way and it takes a little bit of time for us. Some some folks don't come back as quick as you did. And um we drift away a little bit. But at the end of the day, I truly believe that if we have gone through school and this is on your heart, Absolutely. and the Lord has moved you and told you to be here, um, then this is where you are supposed to be. And it may take um, as I like to say, it may take, sometimes we have to prove ourselves twice. Sometimes we have to prove ourselves five times. Right. No one's going to ask at the end of the day in the interview. Uh, exactly. No one's going to ask. And no that's what my professor it. told me too. She's like, they're not going to say, oh, well, how many times have you taken it? They don't care about that. No one cares. They don't. Say, Do you have the piece of paper? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yes. Uh, so that's all that matters. And all that matters is that we care about our patients. And for me, that we care about each other. So Absolutely. I appreciate you taking that time out. Um, and we will talk soon because I'm excited for you. So yes. let Thank us you so know much. if you need anything, because of course, we're not just here for this. Um, but let us know if you need any help with anything. Absolutely. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right. <laughs> So with that being said, guys, you guys have heard Beatrice's story. And again, we are doing this simply because sometimes it is just, you need to hear it from someone else. And you need to hear it from folks who are in that same position and who have overcome and um, who have been successful and hear their little journey along the way. Um, and it just makes it easier to digest. So with that being said, I appreciate that you guys have watched because we've had a lot of watchers, Beatrice. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I can't see anything. So <laughs> I, we've had a lot of watchers. So I appreciate that everyone has popped in here and watched. Um, and again, it is just our October check-in and we're just kind of doing that. So we're going to start checking in a little bit more um, as we go on, especially winding down into the year. So all right, guys, so me and Beatrice are going to go about our ways, and I'm going to go feed children. I'm sure she's probably <laughs> going to go check on hers. <laughs> so um, with that being said, we love you. Again, if no, one, if no one tells you that they love you, you guys know I love you, and I support you. So let us know if you have any questions um, or any concerns, and we'll try to help you out. All right, Beatrice, I guess we'll see you. I'll see you in the future. All right, bye. <laughs> All right, bye, guys. <laughs>